The depths of the Earth's oceans are a kind of terrifying place. The phrase, it's like a jungle out there, should be, it's like the ocean out there. Because that's where the true danger lies. It's definitely not better down where it's wetter under the sea. These are times sea animals messed with the wrong opponent. Number 20. Gang of Killer Whales Paralyze a Shark Those naughty orcas are at it again. This time, their victim is none other than a tiger shark. Now, usually, you'd expect to be hearing how the shark had been doing all the hunting, but this time around, the shark is the prey. The orcas, also known as killer whales, were spotted by some divers off the coast of Costa Rica. A pod of three orca were suddenly very animated as they moved in on a single tiger shark. They used a scarily efficient hunting technique, circling the shark and forcing it to the surface. They then just work on tiring it out until it can't fight back. This is a particularly gruesome sight. These mighty ocean creatures could likely dispense with a relatively small shark with ease, but they seem to be enjoying taunting it, like a cat toying with a mouse before it crushes it. At this point, the orcas are starting to take bites out of the exhausted shark, until finally a large male orca takes control of the hunt and finishes the job, flipping the tiger shark onto its back. This paralyzes the shark and leaves it completely helpless against the onslaught of orcas as they begin ripping at the animal's flesh. The ravenous killer whales then systematically eat the entire shark, stripping it right down to the bone. Mmm. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Orca Pods Hunting and Killing Blue Whale I guess this is why orcas are also known as killa whales, because these guys are up to some serious fishing out there in the deep waters off the coast of Western Australia. Orcas may look smiley and cute, but these wild ones are nothing like the sea world kind. The orca is actually a murderous psychopath with a penchant for evisceration and squeezing the livers out of sharks. Mmm, pate anyone? Very few creatures would even attempt to take on a blue whale. The sheer size of these animals is enough to put off most would-be predators, so it's surprising to see orcas so brazenly hunting and attacking one. This crazy behavior has rarely ever been captured before, but there are some orcas out there that are being super aggressive to blue whales, and spoiler alert, it doesn't end well for the whales. The whole thing begins as a kind of super slow motion standoff. The blue whale's massive size means that it's extremely slow moving compared to the smaller, more agile orcas. The orcas spot their prey and begin to move in. Working as a tag team, the orcas are able to outgun the whale at almost every turn. Like a pack of wolves, they circle and contain the whales, attacking in turn and taking lumps out of the unfortunate mammal. Number 18. Sleeping Walruses Scaring Polar Bear This desperately sad footage of an extremely skinny mother polar bear and her cubs searching for food was filmed by a family on a summertime sailing trip in Norway's Arctic North. There's almost no sea ice visible. Polar bears need the ice in order to hunt. Otherwise, they're just simply at the mercy of luck, and it looks as though this polar bear is fresh out. Roaming the bleak landscape, their skin hanging from their bones, these bears need food immediately. The cub will most likely be starving, as its mother is not eaten and would be unable to produce milk. Spotting the walruses laying on the shore, the mother polar bear tentatively investigates the mound of flabby flesh. Although healthy male polar bears may sometimes attack a walrus, they're actually too large and heavy for smaller female bears to prey upon. But this mama is desperate, and she's hoping that the walrus just might be injured or 
even dead so she can eat it. But luck is a tricky thing and this polar bear seems to have none at all. The walrus wakes up and isn't too pleased to be poked by a polar bear and the sad search for food continues on. Number 17. Underestimating a penguin is a mistake that might cost you dearly. A group of baby penguins waddling alone to the sea seems like easy prey for a big bad giant petrel, but these fluffy flightless birds have a few tricks up their ridiculously cute sleeves. The giant petrel is a massive bird with a wingspan of up to 6 feet and a huge pointy bill a dangerous predator, especially amongst a vulnerable pack of little emperor penguins on their first outing without their grown-ups. First, the petrel manages to attack, pulling a penguin from the group, but the penguin is surprisingly quick and wriggles free from the big bird's grasp. Then the power of the pack kicks in. The emperor penguin chicks know that there's safety in numbers and they form a circle, protecting each other and standing tall against the petrel. A stalemate exists and the penguins stand their ground as the giant petrel settles beside the circle waiting for an opportunity. Just then, an ally appears on the landscape, a small but feisty Adele penguin. This fierce little penguin, even on its own, is enough to see off the petrel and help the emperor penguin chicks carry on their journey. Lesson learned, don't mess with this bird. Number 16. Sea Lion Hunting a Large Octopus Captured on film by National Geographic Critter Cams, the lives of sea lions on dangerous reefs in Australia are being documented in fascinating detail. One encounter has had the nature nerds even more excited than usual. The footage records the feeding habits of sea lions in great detail, including a specific meal of octopus that gave marine biologists new insights into these mammals. The female sea lion manages to grab a hold of a particularly tasty prey, a huge octopus. The octopus is too large to simply bite down on, so the sea lion drags the colossal creature to the surface so she can breathe while she sets to preparing for her feast. The octopus struggles and attempts to break free from the predator, but it's unlucky. The sea lion is quick and doesn't let the prey escape. She tears off tentacles and breaks the octopus down into pieces to make it easier to eat. Even as the octopus drifts away, the sea lion keeps an eye on her snack, pulling it back for more bites, keeping it close to the surface, and gradually demolishing the creature with casual efficiency. Number 15. Shrimp tears dragonfish to shreds while eating it alive. It turns out that shrimp, they're not as feeble as we sometimes think they are. In fact, some of them are just thugs. This little shrimp stalks a fish in the middle of the sea and grabs a hold of the dragonfish, dragging it to the ocean floor. What happens next is frankly horrifying as the shrimp sets about its task. It has the dragonfish entangled in its legs and holds it upside down while it uses one of its tentacles to slowly eviscerate the helpless fish. Ew, it's actually so brutal I can barely look, but I also can't look away. Apparently, this shrimp is behaving in a fairly uncharacteristic manner. Shrimp are usually scavengers, and they gather most of their food by finding debris and other animal leftovers. For these types of shrimp to be doing such predatory things and hideous murders is really unusual. So what we're looking at could be a psychopathic shrimp after all. Ultimately, and obviously, things end really badly for the dragonfish as it has its last meal surgically removed from its belly and the shrimp slowly and methodically begins to devour the unfortunate fish tiny piece by tiny piece while it's still alive. How horrifying. Number 14. Sharks are afraid of dolphins. Despite their appearance, we all know that dolphins are actually psychopaths, right? They're clever and like nothing more than working together to create a whole bunch of carnage, especially if a shark unwittingly crosses their path. It sounds crazy, I know, but dolphins are extremely aggressive towards sharks, so most sharks know how to avoid an encounter with these 
smiling assassins. If they want to live to see another day, that is. Even though they may look cute, dolphin bodies are designed to hand out some serious pain. That pointy snout is a dangerous battering ram capable of inflicting major and even life-threatening injuries on a shark. If the dolphin lands a few blows in the right spots, that is. A porpoisely aimed snout can cause internal trauma if it wallops a shark's belly, or if they pound the creature's gills. It may even lead to death. So a lone shark in the territory of a pod of dolphins should be afraid. Very, very afraid. And they are. Sharks seem to have adjusted their behavior and will avoid dolphins as much as they possibly can, and if they're fortunate enough to have a close encounter with a gang, then a shark will likely beat a hasty retreat as soon as the first snouts have begun swinging. They know the truth about these maniac mammals, even if we refuse to see it. Number 13. Giant moray eel attacks venomous stonefish. The best advice regarding the deadly poisonous stonefish is really to avoid it at all costs. This venomous fish contains enough poison in its spines to kill you many times over if you simply even step on it, let alone if you were to actually eat it. So what on earth is the moray eel up to? Well, perhaps he didn't get the memo, or maybe he's just not one for playing by the rules. Either way, this fish would be captured on film doing something completely bonkers. The stonefish has 13 venomous spines along its back. If anything even brushes against these, then the venom can be released. If you accidentally step on a stonefish, it will sting you and that nasty sting is extremely painful and is going to need immediate medical attention. The venom from a stonefish can cause swelling, pain, tissue death, and even cardiac arrest. In humans, anyway. But looking at the zeal with which this giant moray eel is galloping down the deadly sea creature, perhaps it's not really a problem for the mean old eel. I expect he eats razor blades for breakfast, radioactive waste for tea, and snacks on stonefish as if they were Skittles. You have to wonder, though, if it wouldn't make him feel just the tiniest bit eel. Number 12. Moray Eel Swallows a Potentially Deadly Pufferfish Hole this eel may have come to regret this particular meal, but likely he wasn't around long enough to think on it too much. They're creepy looking things, moray eels, but there's no doubt that these fish have some adaptations that make them deadly killers. This footage was captured in the Red Sea near Egypt by a group of divers. The swift efficiency of the eel is startling. With lightning fast reactions like those, it's no wonder that it caught its prey. However, for all those hunting skeels, this eel may not be the smartest fish in the sea. The lunch that it chose to snaffle was none other than a puffer fish, which is literally one of the most poisonous creatures on the planet. So, whoops! As the battle begins, it's pretty one-sided. The puffer fish uses its signature move and puffs itself up into an unwieldy ball, while the eel uses its weird jaws to conquer it. You can see the eel's two sets of teeth as it gobbles down its deadly dinner, using one set to keep hold of the puffer fish and the other to deflate and swallow it down whole. But ultimately, neither of these fish is really a winner, are they? The puffer fish was eaten, and the moray eel no doubt had a tummy ache with a fatal ending. What a bummer. Number 11. Mysterious scars on Hawaiian shark could be a sign of giant squid attack. Deep below the surface in the waters of the Pacific Ocean off the coast of Hawaii, there seems to have been an epic battle between an almost mythical giant squid and a shark. Scientists are intrigued to discover what appear to be the distinct markings of a fight between these two sea monsters on the skin of the shark itself. The battle-scarred white-tipped shark 
may be swimming around with real-life clues about the nature of the elusive and fascinating giant squid, there appear to be a row of circular markings along the shark's back, looking a whole lot like those sucker marks that are made by large squid. And judging by the size of those scars, the squid had to have been at least the same size as the shark, which is seven feet long, by the way. While we don't know how the fight came about or who was trying to eat whom, we can say for sure that the shark survived the apparent deep sea wrestling match, on this occasion anyways. Number 10. Moray Eel Violently Attacks an Octopus All is quiet and calm on the sea floor, an octopus just minding its own business, blending itself in with the rocks, when suddenly, and rudely, I might add, a massive, vicious eel lunges in and takes out a chunk of the octopus. It's a dangerous world down there, transforming from a peaceful coexistence to being locked in an epic battle seems to be par for the course under the sea. There are opportunistic killers and hungry predators around every corner, and you've got to keep your wits about you at all time. Mmm, stay frosty. The brutality of this attack is what's most surprising. It really does seem to come almost out of nowhere and is executed with such speed and ferocity that is just one bad eel. The octopus loses an arm in the altercation, but frankly it seems fortunate that it survived the vicious assault at all. It's an eel-eat-octopus world out there. Number 9. Moray Eel Attacks White Tip Reef Shark Honestly, these moray eels are pretty unpleasant characters, aren't they? Not only are they extremely mean, but they're also seemingly completely indiscriminate and ruthless in their hunting style. These vicious predators will basically attack and eat almost anything that has the audacity to swim within a few feet of them, even sharks. That's right, a giant moray eel has no fear of the shark, they're just another tasty snack to the greedy eel. Some of these freaky fish can reach an astonishing 10 feet in length, weighing as much as 66 pounds. And when you add to that the fact that these creatures also have a double jaw eating technique and can detach their mouth to fit more inside, it's no wonder that the idea of snarfing a shark doesn't give them any cause for concern. The footage shows the eel wrestling with a shark for a while, its jaws clamped onto the shark's head, when the eel's gross jaw system then begins to do its thing, slowly and agonizingly pulling the unfortunate prey into its mouth and gradually down its throat. It takes a long time. Just imagine being slowly swallowed by a terrifying sea monster and you get the picture. But if you do get a couple of these little reef sharks involved, then it could just as easily end badly for that mean old moray. Number 8. A Sea Snake Devours an Eel Its Own Size A sea snake that looks like it's escaped from a Tim Burton movie the banded sea crate is an amphibious animal, able to live on land or in the water. And judging by the way it can snarf down a whole moray eel, the sea snake has a massive appetite. I don't know about you, but even when I'm really hungry, I probably won't spot a sandwich the same height as me and think, mmm, yeah, that looks like a real sensible lunch. But not so for the banded sea crate. This stripy creature saw a sizable moray eel that measured more or less the same as itself and decided to scoff the lot without even pausing to chew it. These sea snakes have a venomous bite which they use to paralyze their prey. The venom is incredibly toxic and is actually 10 times more poisonous than a rattlesnake. Number 7. Crazy Video of a Tiger Shark Fighting a Hammerhead Shark Two giants of the ocean locked in an epic battle is not something that you see every day. 
Sharks are predators, and they'll hunt and eat all kinds of creatures, including other sharks, it seems. This footage would be captured off the Gulf of Mexico, a spot where these two different species of shark are often in competition for the same meal and have probably developed a bit of a disliking for each other. Ryan Wilsey was out on a boat fishing when he managed to get this extraordinary encounter between the two sharks on video. The hammerhead was double unlucky. First, it had been caught in the hook of the fishermen on the boat, and they were beginning to reel the big fish in. In fact, they initially thought that they'd snared a tuna, but their catch soon became clear when another shark turned up to the party. The tiger shark is a formidable animal, responsible for many of the shark bites on humans as it goes. This was a particularly opportunistic tiger shark, one that spotted the hammerhead's predicament and figured it would give a go. A fish hanging from a fishing line is no doubt pretty easy prey for a big predator like this one. I mean, the hard work is, you know, already done. So the tiger shark bites at the hammerhead, releasing the stricken fish from the line but then engaging in a wrestling match where biting is actually allowed. Ouch! The hammerhead is clamped unceremoniously in the bigger shark's jaws, and they disappear beneath the waves. Number 6. An octopus kills every shark that enters its aquarium. Here's a quick fire quiz. Shark versus octopus. Who wins? I reckon most people are going to say the shark, and yeah, nine times out of ten, they'd probably be right. But every once in a while, there comes along an octopus who means business, and he won't take any shark-based nonsense from anyone. This giant Pacific octopus lives in a big tank in the aquarium in Seattle, and woe betide any shark that should deign to casually pass by this guy's territory. Amazing footage captured the moment when this octopus attacked a spiny dogfish shark that happened to be swimming by. The mighty octopus quickly begins to coil its long, powerful arms around the surprised shark and reels it in. The arms just keep on tightening and grabbing, pulling the shark into the octopus's hug of death. Although usually it would be the other way around, with the shark eating the octopus, it seems that this clever creature had figured out an offense is the best defense strategy and wasn't about to wait around to become a shark's snack. This giant Pacific octopus had been sharing a tank with several dogfish sharks, but staff at the aquarium began to find the gruesome remains of these fish at the bottom of the tank. They eventually worked out that the octopus had murder in mind, and hopefully they rescued the remaining sharks before they too met an untimely end. Octopus does not play well with others. Number 5. Octopus hunts down stonefish, one of the most venomous animals in the ocean. Despite the fact that the stonefish is perhaps one of the most deadly animals on the planet to humans, it seems to make no difference whatsoever to the octopus. This guy doesn't give a suck that stonefish are dripping with toxic venom. Octopuses are bottom-dwelling predators, and they're especially ruthless hunters, using their own venomous bite to disable their victims. They have paralyzing toxic saliva, which they inject into their prey. Then they enjoy nothing more than a brutal dismemberment, followed by a feast. So, when this octopus captures a stonefish on the seafloor, wrapping it completely with its tentacles, it was likely as not immediately poking the fish full of poison and preparing its dinner. The remarkable footage was filmed by a diver in the waters off the coast of Egypt. It seems to show that the octopus is completely untroubled by the stonefish's dangerous, spiny exterior. Must have been armless to the old octopus after all. Number 4. Pufferfish explodes underwater after attack from mantis shrimp. Although there are lots of different species of mantis shrimp, they're all known as either smashers or spearers. Yikes! Due to their crazy assassination techniques. 
Smashers have a kind of club appendage called a dactyle club, and they use it to batter and literally smash their prey into bits. This battering ram can smack down with speeds of up to 50 miles an hour, or the velocity of a gunshot. That's brutal. Spearers have a more pointy appendage with vicious barbs that they use to, well, you guessed it, spear their prey. Kebabs, anyone? They're super well equipped for such a small crustacean as their extreme power allows them to prey on much larger species. So when a pufferfish encounters a particularly tenacious mantis shrimp, it inflates itself in its classic defensive move. But it turns out that it's not this guy's lucky day after all. The little crustacean that's doing the menacing is the mantis shrimp, and he's a spearer. After an agonizingly long process of over seven minutes, during which the pufferfish seems to be holding it together, the mantis is squeezing and poking at the balloon relentlessly as the fish is helpless to do anything else in its own defense. Suddenly, the shrimp makes a final blow, and the pufferfish literally explodes. It's hard to say how much would remain to feed the mantis shrimp, and if it even should eat such a deadly and toxic fish at all. Number 3. Harbor Seal Takes on Giant Octopus in Battle to the Death Wrestling a giant octopus might not seem like a sensible way to find yourself a square meal, but harbor seals are especially partial to these leggy sea creatures, despite the challenge of getting a hold of one. But an octopus isn't just going to surrender to be the seal's dinner plate. These feisty creatures know how to put up a fight, and the seal will have its work cut out to take it down. An incredible battle between these two mortal enemies was captured on film in British Columbia. The seal grabbed hold of the octopus and then they dipped under the water again. The tables have turned by the time the pair resurfaces, and the octopus having completely wrapped itself around the harbor seal's head. The epic battle continues with the two locked in mortal combat for 10 minutes. It could have gone either way. But ultimately, the seal's determined assault wins, and he bags a big lunch. So even being the most well-armed guy in the fight wasn't enough to help this octopus. Number 2. Unusual Octopus and Pufferfish Interaction – Who is the Winner? In remarkable footage captured in the crystal clear waters of the Sakilis, an octopus and a pufferfish were seemingly caught in a stalemate situation. Octopuses are extremely efficient hunters. They use their suckers to grip their prey and then inject it with a nasty paralyzing enzyme before hacking at the unfortunate creature with their beak. Pufferfish, on the other hand, they're not really tremendously sophisticated. They have just one trick up their sleeves in order to defend themselves against would-be predators. They inflate themselves so they become tricky to grip onto. That's it. If they're unfortunate enough to be eaten, then they often prove to be their attacker's final meal, but that's not such a great defensive technique given that they have to die first. So how and why this odd pair became locked in a battle of attrition is a bit strange. The octopus can catch all kinds of creatures with relative ease, so why it chose the awkward pufferfish is anyone's guess, especially as it's going to taste pretty disgusting when you get down to all that toxic stuff. So which creature would win? Unfortunately, nobody stuck around to find out. Sorry. Number 1. Elephant Seal's Annual Ritual of Sex and Violence for elephant seals during mating season, it's all about being the biggest, fattest, sexiest seal on the beach. These massive males fight each other to decide who gets to do all the mating, and it can get pretty violent indeed. Back in the 19th century, the elephant seal was hunted almost to extinction. Their population shrinking to less than 100 during the worst of times, it was only through the utterly enormous libido of these huge mammals that their numbers have since swelled to around 100,000. 
These guys, they're real horny, and they'll tear shreds out of each other to be the one to get some. The sheer power of these male seals is staggering as they rear up a fierce standoff. The strength of their bulky bodies is on full display. They'll use their bulk to crash into one another and their teeth to bite at and tear the flesh of their opponent. It's a frightening spectacle and these guys seem really angry and it gets kind of gory with blood all over the place and bits and pieces flying everywhere. Wow, they seriously want that lady seal's attention. Mmm. It's a ruthless and morally dubious place between the waves and seems to be full of dangerous predators with some nasty habits, so it's good to see the prey occasionally getting the upper hand. Have you ever witnessed an unusual fight between unlikely opponents? Let us know all about it in the comments below. Also check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.